Linda. Hi, I'm Angelica. My name's Eduardo. My name's Johnny. And my name's Maddie, and today we're going to tell you what it's like to be a counselor at Foothill Horizons. It's a really fun job, and it's a lot of responsibility, and your number one job is to keep all the kids safe, and it's really important to be a great role model. Um, if a kid has an emergency or they need their medicine or anything, you can always call up there. Um, here's a map of the campus. If your naturalist gives you a meeting spot and you don't know where it is, you can always refer back to this. Um, this is the counselor area. There's a clock and a lamp and a desk. Um, and it's always good to bring a watch because you're not allowed to have your phones up here. Um, this is our schedule for the week. Uh, here's an inspection checklist, the top 10 rules, medical emergencies, and a little information about your dorm animal. And this is your kids area. Um, there's generally 10 to 15 girls or boys in a dorm. Um, and your job in here is to keep them safe and make sure you supervise them. As counselors in these bathrooms, we have to make sure that we're always supervising the girls. And we have to make sure that the girls are never in the dorms alone. This is the Foothill Horizons um, counselor room and teacher room. This is where we meet up with the teachers of the kids. And we get to bring our own snacks from home, anything we want. And we just write our name on it and put it in here. And when we have meetings, we can eat it or we're on our breaks. And then this wall over here, this tells us where all of our naturalists are. It tells us where they're, what event they're doing, what activities, where they can be found. It tells us a lot, each group number. And yeah. This is the health office where sick, injured, and homesick children are brought. And this is the wild board. Um, whenever kids do a good job in something or help out in any way, we like to write their names on the wild board as a reward. Here at Foothill Horizons, we as counselors eat with the kids, help them clean up, and teach them good table manners. While you are at Foothill, the staff trains you to be a good counselor. Every day, you have meetings with the naturalists and teachers to get advice and find out what is happening next. It is super important that you talk to your teacher and naturalist about any kids who are misbehaving. If you don't tell them about it, they won't know it is a problem. So here at Foothill Horizons, students help their dorms with flag ceremony and meal setups. Counselors are responsible for their students. It is always important to count the kids in your dorm before you move from one place to another. Counselors always have to be at the front of the line. A good counselor is helping with discipline during hikes and separating rowdy students. Also, you can participate in activities or discussions. Um, one really cool thing about participating with all the kids is to see like the excitement that they get from your enthusiasm and to show how much fun you're having with them. Another important job at Foothill Horizon is keeping the kids safe and watching over them when they do activities. It's really important to make sure that the students feel safe because they really end up trusting you at this point because you're a role model to them and it's really important to the kids and the faculty here. At the end of the week, we get an evaluation letter, which is also kind of like a recommendation letter. It's written by your naturalist that you worked with, and it says all the great things that you did with the children here at Foothill Horizons. It's really awesome because you use it for colleges, scholarships, and also a job application. After your last day here, you'll have learned a lot of lessons about responsibility, and you'll be a better leader. And um, the last day is kind of sad because you have to say goodbye to everybody, and you've become so close with everyone. But it's a great experience, and I totally recommend doing it. Counselors are enthusiastic, establish trust, facilitate learning, make connections, serve as a role model, help build teams, provide supportive leadership, assist during meals, encourage discovery, participate in activities, build confidence, improve their leadership skills, serve as a teacher's aid, are understanding, explore nature, build community, serve as an authority figure, and have fun.